Have you ever had that one dive where your mask just isn't cooperating? We've all been there, whether it's constantly leaking or fogging up. Today we're going to discuss the essential tips of picking the perfect scuba mask. Stick around as we dive into the world of comfortable masks, crystal clear vision, and unforgettable underwater experiences. Whether you're a seasoned diver or just getting started, finding the right mask is crucial to an enjoyable diving experience. First thing we'll discuss will be fit and comfort. This is the most important factor when choosing a scuba mask. You want to ensure that it fits your face properly and creates a good seal without causing discomfort during your dives. In terms of fit and comfort, here's some additional tips to consider. Whenever possible, you'll want to try your mask on before you buy it. And consider the shape of your face and how a mask will fit a narrower or a wider profile. Some masks have a frameless design, which offers a more open and flexible fit. This is accommodating and comfortable for a variety of different faces. For a skirt design, you're going to want to look for a double skirt style. This helps create a better seal and reduces the likelihood of it leaking during a dive. You'll also want to make sure that the nose pocket fits well. Right. You don't want it to pinch your nose and you want to be able to equalize easily. If you have long hair or any facial hair, you might also consider how that affects the seal of the mask. One additional pro tip is to try on your mask with a snorkel or regulator in your mouth. This changes the, sh the shape of your face, which can affect how the mask sits and cause leaks underwater. Next up, we'll discuss mask styles. While there are many options to choose from, for instance, a single lens, a double lens, or even a kind of panoramic view, the mask style you choose should reflect the field of vision that you prefer and suit your diving need. Black silicone masks will offer a more narrowed field of vision, which will improve your focus, whereas clear silicone will let in a lot more light and give you a more open feel in the water. Now let's quickly talk about the skirt and frame material. You'll want to pick a mask that has a soft, flexible, and high quality silicone which will be great for durability and providing a proper seal. As for the frame of the mask, you want to choose lightweight materials such as aluminum or a durable plastic, which will be very comfortable for long dives. For lens material and coatings, you're going to want to go with a lens made of tempered glass. Tempered glass is less likely to shatter under pressure. You also want to look at a mask that potentially has an anti-scratch or anti-fog coating, which will enhance your visibility underwater. If you found any value in this video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. This way you don't miss out on any future and exciting videos. When purchasing a mask, you'll want to consider the volume inside of the mask. So a low volume mask will be more streamlined, will sit closer to the face, and due to the lower air space inside, it'll be easier to equalize and clear the mask. These masks are typically preferred by free divers and deep divers who need easier equalization. One drawback about a low volume mask will be that you'll have a slightly narrowed field of vision. High volume masks, on the other hand, offer a, a larger field of vision, which is more preferred by recreational divers who want to enjoy more of the scenery underwater. You'll want to check the strap and the buckle system for ease of adjustment. Quick release buckles like this are really convenient for helping remove the mask underwater or once you're out of the water and create, creating a hassle-free experience. For the mask strap, you're going to want to pick something that fits comfortably around your head. You also want to look at the strap placement to ensure that it doesn't press into any sensitive areas of your head, like your ears or your temples. You're also really going to want to invest in one of these neoprene mask strap covers. I use it because it helps me with irritation on my bald head, but others use them because it helps produce uh, hair tangling in the silicone mask strap. If you wear glasses or contacts, you should consider a mask that has prescription lenses or the option to insert prescription lenses. It is essential that you're able to see clearly underwater to receive any hand signals from instructors or dive buddies or just be aware of everything that's going on underwater. If you ever shopped for a mask, you'll know that the color and style options are nearly unlimited. While color and style are not essential for functionality, you should be able to find a mask that fits well, does the job, and fits your overall color theme. Feeling good in your mask can, ha can have a positive impact on your diving enjoyment. Last but not least, I recommend getting a mask from a reputable scuba diving company known for durability and quality. Reading reviews and getting recommendations from experienced scuba divers can be a valuable part of your decision-making process. So there you have it. Nine essential tips for picking the perfect scuba mask. Remember that the right mask is a personal choice. So try on lots of different options and test them in the water if possible. 
I really hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Happy diving, and I look forward to seeing the next one.